Hello everyone. Uh, we got a busy day here on the farm. You can see I'm uh, I just got done finishing the last uh, finishing feeding the last pen of cattle and uh, at the same time dad is in there uh, scraping pins because uh, we finally got some uh, good moisture from this uh, most recent snow uh, it was a nice wet snow we got about six inches didn't blow around too bad um, so uh, it was forecast for rain and we would have taken rain too but then the day it came uh it came as snow they didn't they didn't really uh predict it that way but uh, it was almost like whiteout conditions um just came a big snow and uh so we have good moisture in the corrals for um for piling manure that has been uh very dusty all winter long um to where we couldn't really pile it because it just would get spread out as dust um, so we're thankful to be able to be doing that. Uh, this morning, Dad and I have also already uh, sorted some cattle up to sell on Thursday. Uh, it's a Tuesday, right, uh, today. And um, so while we were doing chores, chores took a little longer, but um, some guys showed up uh, from Capstan. And uh, they are, uh, I guess I can't see from here yet, but they're installing um, their... Uh, PWM pulse width modulation um, system they're installing their PWM system on our sprayer now you can see it right there so um, I'm gonna go have a chat with them I was uh, able to get the sprayer set up for them while I was still finishing feeding and um, so we got a lot going on We got we got cardboard boxes out here in full force and a uh, bunch of cab sand guys getting to work they're hammering out hammering it out and uh, gonna get pretty much the install done today hopefully and um, so we're excited to kind of learn about it and walk you guys through it um, they're filming a lot of b-roll and stuff for us and um, so uh, you guys will kind of be able to to see that throughout this video and uh, it's pretty exciting for me because back when I was in college um, we got to see a capstan demo um, they are the original company of a, of a PWM pulse with modulation system um, and so they've really been tuning it um, for many years and uh, so I saw a demo back when I was in college and uh, thought it was pretty cool didn't know um, that I'd ever uh, really get to um, run one um, but it's pretty exciting to have them here now see what this baby can do so we have a little more um, in to put on wheat and uh, before you know it we'll be right in the middle of growing season and really putting this thing to work so uh, we're pretty excited uh, what we call a VCM it's a valve control module what this does is it plugs into each solenoid across the boom uh, controls what it is doing while we're spraying from here, we have an extension harness that runs up to our gateway hub that plugs in there. Uh, these just get mounted on the, the each boom section. So if you have more than 15 nozzles on a boom section, you're gonna have uh, multiples of these. So this is our uh, 12 watt solenoid. Uh, this is on our high flow valve assembly. So this assembly can flow, it's, a, it's, it's an A24, so it means it fits an A-rag slash high pro 
um, style nozzle body. Uh, this can flow 2.4 gallon a minute. So that's the significance of the A24. Um, this is the lifeblood, the basis of, of our PWM systems, all of our sprayer systems. Um, we have high flow valves, which indicated by the blue lead, that's 2.4 gallon a minute valve. And we have a standard flow valve, uh, which is 1.5 gallon a minute. Uh, that's indicated with a black lead. Um, just kind of going through this a little bit, we can take it apart here. This solenoid will actually detach from the body assembly. And there will be an O-ring inside. So that can, you can see that's where the flow comes in on those four holes on the outside and it goes out on the center hole. So there's the plunger for each individual valve that will actually sit on that face normally closed and when we engage it, it will normally, it will open uh, with the signals coming from the controller. So this plunger has got a spring return to return it to normally closed. That should move freely at all times. Uh, these plungers uh, have four slots on each side to let the flow come around. That's what kind of helps the uh, high flow capability here. If there is any issues with the electronic side, so if you get a valve lodged open error or um, any kind of valve error indicated on your screen, uh, first place you're going to come out and is to check this solenoid. Uh, a good rule of thumb on this is if you've got a solenoid that is not picking up on the system, uh, meaning it's got a valve cool circuit open, uh, you can come out here and take a voltmeter, put it on resistance, check between the leads. Uh, on these high flow valves, you're looking for 10 to 12 ohms. On the standard flow black lead valves, you're looking for 21 to 23 and a half ohms. Um, if it's outside of that range, it's bad. Replace it, go on. You can just take the solenoid off itself, put it, a new solenoid directly onto this body, keep on rolling, change the plunger and everything out. Um, so that's the valve for the system. Now these mount directly on any existing nozzle body on the market, uh, the majority of them anyway. Uh, this one is a high pro nozzle body. Um, so this fly nut, this plastic piece here that we have, that is the threaded, it's got a threaded pitch pattern to match exactly on this high pro nozzle body. We make them for Wilger, um, we make them for high flow John Deere uh, ARAG nozzle bodies and many others. Uh, they're indicated by the letter and number here. Um, that's printed on the side of the stainless portion of the valve. So we'll put our O-ring on, we slide this forward, and then tighten that right on to the, the existing nozzle body on the machine. So we don't actually have to change anything other than remove the drip check. We can just throw this right on there. Farm dog. <laughs> well, the good part about this is if we do have a failure of any kind, um, we can always have turn these off. You can open these up and go back to spraying the way you're spraying right now. Oh yeah. So it kind of gives us a backup for yeah. a backup for a backup. Kendall is uh, in the hospital um, with Kaylin. They had their a uh, new baby girl uh, yesterday, so hopefully tomorrow they'll be able to come home. But uh, so dad and I have been on cow duty, and tonight dad went to the state uh, basketball tournament um, in Hutch. And so I came down, he said this calf was born, uh, I think, kind of late morning, and um, he was able to tag it, but it wasn't really ready to walk yet all the way to the shed. We got it. We had, so so we have a snowstorm coming So we're gonna get this newborn uh, Into a shed with some bedding and stuff with the cow just to Give him a little help going through his first night Especially with snowstorm coming. So hopefully the cow's nice to me 
Come on, cow. I'm here. I'm here to help. There you go, buddy. You're walking now. We'll see if it snows. They say it, we're kind of on the edge of it. And, uh, well, the last snow, you know, oh, I gotta get in front of it. The last snow was kind of unexpected for us. We, we thought it was gonna be rain, maybe. And we didn't know if we were gonna get much. And then we got a big snow, you know, all at once. On a, and it was Sunday, so we didn't have much preparation for it. Well, now this one we're prepared for. We'll see if it does anything. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta put the put the phone down and pay attention to what you're doing, you know? We got some calves crawling through the fence over there. I need to ask Dad if I suppose they'll figure out their way back in. Well, some of the calves that have been had we're just kind of keeping them spread out. And there's a lot over here. I think we're over half done now, so they've been dropping like flies, as they say. Maybe, I don't know, does anybody say that? Come on, little buddy. Hey. Yeah, don't get mad at me. I'm telling you, camera's bad. Okay, so this is our little working facilities here at at uh, mom and dad's house. They'll have some hay to lay in and uh, be nice and warm in there for tonight. Hey buddy. Welcome, welcome to the world. <laughs> it's okay mom. You done, you didn't, done did a good job. Bye.